Yum, yum. Floyd here with a quick introduction to the cut solid with curve feature and plasticity. Start with a solid you'd like to cut, then create a curve to use as the cutter. Click the cut solid with curve icon in the lower left corner of the UI, or use the keyboard shortcut C. Select the target solid, followed by the curve, and then click OK. The result will be two solids separated where the curve intersected the target solid. Use this powerful feature to quickly cut solids with curves. Floyd here with a quick look at the project curve onto surface feature and plasticity. To project a curve onto a surface, start by selecting a curve and clicking on the project curve onto surface icon in the lower right corner of the UI, or use the keyboard shortcut I. Next, select the target body and right click to commit. A new curve will be generated. To put this curve to use, I'll use the keyboard shortcut P to activate the pipe tool. I'll use the default values and right click to commit. Then use the pipe as a tool for the standard Boolean difference operation. This is only one example of how you can use the project curve onto surface feature. So be sure to experiment with this powerful option. Floyd here with a quick look at using profile curves when lofting and plasticity. To help define the shape when lofting curves, you can use profile curves. In this example, I'll loft these four curves and use the oval and rounded rectangle curves as profiles. Take note that the start and end of the four curves intersect with the profile curves, as indicated by the blue-green control points. Press L to loft, then select the first profile, and shift select the second profile. Right-click to commit, and I'll follow it up by patching the holes using the patch holes command. Floyd here with a quick look at the difference between extruding a curve and a face and plasticity. When extruding a closed curve and a face, the closed curve will produce a sheet, while the face will generate a solid. If you'd like to convert the sheet to a solid, simply select it and use the patch holes command. To convert the solid to a sheet, simply remove faces using the Shift X hotkey. Be mindful of what's selected before extruding, and you'll be in control of what gets generated. Floyd here with a quick look at the imprint curve feature and plasticity. To use imprint curve, start by using the keyboard shortcut Shift I, then select the target body to project onto, followed by the curve to project, and right click to commit. The result will be the curve imprinted onto the surface of the target body, which can be used for further construction. If you don't want the projection to imprint on the opposite side of the body, use the normal method and click the bidirectional attribute. Use this powerful feature to make light work of complex shapes. Floyd here with a quick look at the circle and arc curve tools in plasticity. The main circle curve tool is the center circle. When activated, you can simply left click to place the center of the circle and move the mouse to adjust the radius. After left clicking, you can continue to adjust the radius and then right click to commit. Left clicking and holding on the center circle icon reveals more options. Here you can choose the two point circle tool which generates a circle with two left clicks, with the distance between the clicks representing the diameter of the circle. Take note that no right click is required as the circle is created after the second left click. The three point circle requires three left clicks without the need of the right click to commit. To use the center point arc tool, activate it, and the first click defines the center of the arc, the second click is the start of the arc, and the third click is the end of the arc. The three-point arc uses the first click to define the start of the arc, the second click is the end of the arc, and the third click defines the height. Spend some time experimenting with all of these options so that you're ready to use them when needed. Floyd here with a quick look at the subdivide curve command in plasticity. If you'd like to add more control points to a curve while maintaining its shape, use the subdivide curve command by clicking on the subdivide curve icon in the lower right corner of the UI, or by pressing the keyboard shortcut Alt-1. This can be a quick way to make denser curves. Floyd here with a quick look at the alternate duplicate command in plasticity. The alternate duplicate command uses the construction plane to duplicate selected edges. You'll need to be in an orthographic view. Then select the edges you'd like to duplicate and use the keyboard shortcut Alt-D. New curves will be generated based on the selected edges oriented to the construction plane. This also works when using the construction plane from camera feature. Simply select some edges Floyd here with a quick look at the rebuild curve command in plasticity. In this example, I'll generate a curve using the alternate duplicate command. While it may produce the shape I'm after, there's an excess of control points. This is where rebuild curve can come in handy. Simply select the curve, press F on the keyboard, and click rebuild curve. This will result in a cleaner curve using less control points. Oh, look at the time. 
Floyd here with a quick look at the Cut Curves tool in Plasticity. If you'd like to cut a curve with other curves, press F on the keyboard, type Cut, and click Cut Curves to activate the tool. Then select the target curve, followed by the curves you'd like to cut with, and then right click to commit. To cut a curve with a face, activate the Cut Curves tool, then select the target curve, followed by the face you'd like to cut with, and then right click to commit. Add this tool to your toolkit to cut curves with curves and faces. Floyd here with a quick look at the Curve Array tool in Plasticity. Start by selecting the solids or curves you'd like to duplicate. Press F on the keyboard, then type Array, and click Curve Array to activate the tool. Select the curve you'd like to duplicate along, and use the tool. Floyd here with a quick look at the Split Curve tool in Plasticity. To add a point to a line or a curve, activate the Split Curve tool, and click on the line or curve where you'd like to add a point. Clicking on a solid body edge will split the edge into multiple edges. Use this handy tool to add points to curves and split edges. Floyd here with a quick tip for placing control points on a curve with the Split Curve tool and Plasticity. When using the Split Curve tool, you can press and hold the control key to snap to the curve. You can also snap the key areas of the curve, such as the middle of the curve, and quarter and three quarter positions on the curve. Use this handy option for more accurate placement of control points on curves. Floyd here with a quick tip for joining curves and creating smooth transitions in Plasticity. Start by making sure the curve's endpoints share the same world space, then select both curves and press J on the keyboard to create a single curve. If you don't want the transition to be linear, simply double click on the point where the two curves intersect and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick tip for selecting all coplanar curves in Plasticity. To select all curves that are on the same plane, simply press and hold the Alt key, then left click on a curve. Use this selection technique to speed up selecting curves. Floyd here with a quick tip for hiding all coplanar curves in Plasticity. To hide all curves that are on the same plane, simply select the curve and use the keyboard shortcut H. This can be a quick way to hide construction curves without deleting them from the scene. Floyd here with a quick tip for creating a clean outline from overlapping curves in Plasticity. Simply select the faces you'd like to produce a new curve from and use the keyboard shortcut Shift D to generate a new curve. Use this handy tip to quickly create clean curves from overlapping curves. Floyd here with a quick look at the Spline Curve Type Toggle in Plasticity. When creating a curve with the Spline Curve tool, the default curve type is a through point curve. Pressing the Tab key will convert the curve into a control point curve. Use this handy toggle to quickly switch between curve types when generating a curve with the Spline Curve tool. Floyd here with a quick look at creating patches from curves in Plasticity. Simply select the curve you'd like to patch and click the Create Patch from Curves button in the lower right corner of the UI. A new sheet will be generated. When working with multiple curves, start by joining the curves using the keyboard shortcut J, then click the Create Patch from Curves button. Use this handy command to quickly generate sheets from curves. Floyd here with a quick tip for adding new CVs to curves and plasticity. Start by selecting a curve and activating the Split Curve tool. Left click on the curve where you'd like to insert a point, then select the curve again and press Alt-1 to subdivide it. This will bring back the control verts. Then double click on the new point to convert it to a control point, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at converting edges to curves and plasticity. Start by making an edge selection. For this example, I'll select this face and press Control 2 to convert it to an edge selection. Then press Shift D to convert the edge selection to curves. Use this simple process to quickly generate curves from edges and plasticity. Oh, look at the time.